Hmm. Okay. So wait, hold on. What is on Morales' credit card? Or credit sheet? Oh, a large payment to Tortoise Security, but what for? Okay. So I didn't even realize that. I just randomly clicked the damn thing. <laughs> That's convenient. Well. Okay, um. Hmm. So. Thank you. Suppose we can just head back to the police now and try and get the will from there? I wonder if uh, Bennett will be able to just order get the will. Like, I can just ask Josh and be like, yo, you got a will for me, yo? And he'll be like, yeah, I got that. Can I? I can! Wow. It's like they all share memories. That's convenient. Can I get the death certificate and will of Javier Morales out of this thing? Is that the dead guy from the lab? Yeah. Since he's connected to your case, you should be given access. Oh, but he just died yesterday. Death certificates don't get filed in the archive until usually two weeks after death. But we can probably get the will, assuming he has one on file. Yep, I've got his will pulled up. Go touch the screen for the authorization check. And if you need a second copy, just let me know. Alice's will. That's Morales's will, all right. Okay, tortoise security guy again. Uh, ooh, what's this? This looks interesting. The box has four sides. Which one should I take a look at? Red, because it's fast. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, that goes there. That goes, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Is there any? Boxing, there seems to be some mechanism inside the puzzle box, but I can't see inside. Ooh, you could use the ultrasonograph to see inside, right? Bingo, the ultrasonograph lets me see inside this puzzle box. The box has four sides. Red, again, do it. This is a very strange puzzle thing for a security man to be making. I mean, yeah, he works on security, and I suppose this would make a really difficult lock, but who in their right mind could figure it out? Seriously, you'd have to be pretty damn insane to be able to figure it out. I mean, it's, it's, it, it doesn't even seem to be making sense. Like, there's a little white thing here that you seem to be, should be able to put, like, this thing in there, but I have no idea how you're supposed to be doing that. That's just, an, that's crazy, man. It's like, you gotta put this thing here, and then you gotta, like, rotate it over, and just, it, it's, it doesn't make sense to me at all. Got that guy there, and then, and then wh how how are you supposed to do this? Hmm? How? Oh, like that, I suppose. Wow. Okay, that was strange. I I, I got it. Yep, <laughs> you did. Congratulations, me. Oh wow. Let's try the yellow side. You know, I'm I'm gonna try my luck out. I've already got one. So how, how, what are the chances of me doing another one? Hmm. Probably not that good at all. In fact. Um. Hmm. Okay. So we got this thing. Hold on, let me reset it. I don't know what I'm doing. No, get that out of the way. Okay, so we got this. I can just rotate it around, move that box, and then I can uh, move something or other. I don't know who. Who? Went, why would you make something like this? Why? I'm like, seriously. You have to be insane. You have to be like mentally insane. Like, oh, that doesn't make much sense because you couldn't be any up. They couldn't be physically insane, could you? I suppose you could. Maybe you're just like. You moved your hands around a lot. Suppose that'd make you mentally insane then, wouldn't it? I suppose. Oh, hey, there we go. See, I, I should really just stop concentrating because apparently if I stop thinking about what's the right thing to do, I solve it in it like an, an instant. That doesn't even make sense. But I suppose that's probably how you're supposed to solve this thing, by not making sense because, well, it kind of doesn't. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Oh, wait, I don't... I've got to stop concentrating, that's right. So let's just not focus on anything at all, and then, uh, oh, what did I just put there? No, put that back. Now let's move you here, and let's put this little guy back in there. And then, oh, hey, there, I did it. I actually concentrated that time, though, so that's, so it's a broken puzzle, isn't it? Yeah. So what's this? Oh, got this little guy here, and then, oh, wait, hold on. I know. Well, this is easy. They leave the easiest one for last, are they? Maybe I was supposed to do that first. I got it. Yeah, your puzzle's broken, guy. You solved it. You opened it. No one was supposed to open that. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry? 
You're sorry? I... This is fantastic. You solved it. For years I've been working on puzzle boxes like that one. I put them on display, no one even glances at them. But you, you must love a good puzzle as much as I do. I... We are kindred spirits. Finally, someone to share my hobby with. But... I'm gonna make you a new box. You are going to love it. Thanks. This is the start of a beautiful friendship. I can tell. You love puzzles. I hate puzzles. It's going to be brilliant. Could you get me the, uh... What, what do I need from you? Blueprints, that's right. The blueprints are in the city archives, I know that, but perhaps tortoise, tortoise, whatever, can help me get them. Please, I need to know about my uncle's vault. I've told you, I can't give you any information until I've seen the death certificate and the will. I'm sorry. Well, here's the death certificate. I don't have the death, certif death certificate. The other guy has the death certificate. And Thank you. I need to go get that stuff. Bennett. Here, Anna, have the will and then hey, talk to yeah, your crazy yeah. friend. Sure. And then I want you to, you know, maybe use your persuasion skills and that's the wrong person. Okay, there we go. Ring the bell. Get him back here. I hope no more. Oh, no little flashing lights or anything. Ah, well, perhaps I can tempt you with a new keyless combo list padlock. Once you lock it onto something, it'll never come off. Ever. That doesn't sound too useful. Uh, here's the will. Here's my uncle's will. I'm listed as the sole beneficiary. I see. Uh, unfortunately, I still need some proof that he's dead. He died in the explosion at Juno Laboratory. It's been all over the news. I'm sorry, but I need to follow the law to the letter here. I work with a very sensitive client base. I need to see that death certificate. I wonder if it's at the hospital. Thank you. Be right back, guy. I'm going to go to the hospital real quick. Death certificate. There it is. Death certificate. Hello. Thank you. Now I'll be on my way back to Tortoise Security. Okay, here. You wanted the death certificate? Here's the death certificate. Here is my uncle's death certificate. It's really important that we get any information about the vault you have. I'm very sorry for your loss. So many of my vaults are custom designed for special purposes. But this one's no different. It was built to house electronic data and a number of small devices. It's designed to destroy everything inside if someone manages to hack through all the layers of security. Even I wouldn't be able to hack it open. There must be some way. Well, Dr. Morales gave me two sets of fingerprints to encode into the lock-in software. One was his, and I don't know who the other one was. So this other person could open the vault? Well, as long as you knew the key code. Do you have any idea where the vault might be? The internal power generator and battery give off a lot of heat. You might be able to find its heat signature. What was the heat signature? All right, look, I just really didn't want to have to tell you this, but I've lost all my files on Dr. Morales' vault. What? I couldn't tell anyone. I'd be ruined. Me, the top security expert in Aventon City. Stolen? Yes, someone broke into my office two months ago. They went through all my files. The ones you're looking for are the only ones he took. Oh, but I caught him on security camera. Really? Here, I got a printout. Ooh, okay, let's have a look at the picture. It's a security cam picture. The security cam picture is evidence, not something I need right now. I want to look at it. I'm not sure who this guy is, but if he's a criminal history, then the police might know something about it. And there's only one cop I can trust right now. Yeah, I know who that guy is. We had a stakeout on him. Bennett, look at it. Have you ever seen- I think he might be behind my uncle's death. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. That's it. Give me that. Yesterday morning, I was staking out this known criminal dead drop with my partner. And we saw this shifty-eyed mope making a pickup. Take me to him. You better let me check it out first, darling. Darling? Please, call me Bennett. Nice. Smooth, in fact. 